Then suddenly wakes. What's that noise up above? It starts as a chuckle, then turns to a shout. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm stuck. Get me out. A stuck man? A stuck man. Now, who could that be? Don't worry, cries Stickman. I'll soon set you free. <laughs> and a scrape, and a flurry of soot, a wiggle, a jiggle, and out pokes a foot. A shove and a nudge, a hop and a jump. And Santa falls into the room with a thump. Stick man? Oh, stick man, you excellent friend. Thanks. Thanks a million. Thanks without end. Princess, and prancing round the palace in a silly, frilly dress. I want to be a doctor and travel here and there, listening to people's chests and giving them my care. Claimed the knight, and took his helmet off his head. I'd rather wear a nice, twisty stethoscope instead. <laughs> Perhaps, princess, you'll train me up. And Pearl replied... Mm, uh, of course. Hmm. But I don't see how the two of us could fit upon your horse. Flying doctors. <laughs> oh, oh, I'd love to join the crew. If you'll let me be your ambulance, then I can carry you. Hmm. Bravo! <laughs> A dragon ambulance. An excellent career. <laughs> and all the Year 5 dragons gave a loud, resounding cheer. Yeah! <laughs> but what about my trusty steed? I hope you'll stay. I'll let you be my pupil's pet and feed you lots of hay. What a good idea, said Zog. 
<laughs> then up and off they flew. <laughs> the flying doctors waving as they zigzagged through the blue. The crow is flapping through the night. Everyone looks up in fright. They see him perch upon an oak. And listen to his dreadful croak. Superworm is good to eat. Superworm's a special treat. He'll be juicy, fat, and firm. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray for Superworm. Quickly! Huh? At the double! Superworm's in frightful trouble! <gasps> we must help him, if we can. We must hatch a cunning plan. The garden creatures leave their home, carrying a honeycomb. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. <laughs> Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. Terribly kind of you, Fox. But no. No? No, so I'm... I'm going to have lunch with... Uh, with... Uh, 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 Ruffalo? 
A gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? <laughs> a gruffalo? Why didn't you know? Snow. He has terrible tusks and uh, terrible claws <laughs> and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. <laughs> well, <laughs> where are you meeting him? Here. Here by these rocks. And his favourite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox! I'm off, Fox said. Goodbye, little mouse. <laughs> and away he sped. Oh. As for the rat in the echoey cave, he shouted and wandered till he found his way out of the darkness on the other side of the hill. Stick. And whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. 
The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down! cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow. from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek. There flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tied her plait in a bow, <clears throat> I, am, I am a bird. As green as can be. We'll <laughs> never win a golden star. Just then, he saw the girl. Perhaps you'd like to capture me? My name is Princess Pearl. <laughs> what a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off they flew. The princess gripping tightly as they zigzagged through the blue. My dear, you've won a golden star. Zog was proud and happy, and Pearl felt good as well. <laughs> <laughs> 